Dar Jamel grew up in Houston and lives in Alaska. He has reported frequently from Iraq, wrote a book called Beyond the Green Zone, Dispatches from an Unembedded Journalist in Occupied Iraq. His new book is The Will to Resist, Soldiers Who Refuse to Fight in Iraq and Afghanistan. It comes out at a time when soldiers like Victor Augusto are refusing to fight in Obama's Afghanistan war. This is from an interview I did with him in 2005, and we talk about Fallujah, Iraq. I was in Fallujah in April during the first siege of the city. I spent a couple of days in there, and then I went back in in May several times to document what happened during the siege. And then the November siege, it was impossible to get in the city, so I covered that one by interviewing doctors and uh, uh, Fallujah refugees. Let's try to remember back uh, the, the reason supposedly for the first siege was some contractors had been killed and then their bodies mutilated, and this enraged uh, the military, and so they went after Fallujah, but then th that siege did not succeed. Right. That siege, actually, even after what happened to those four mercenaries, the military commander in charge of Fallujah still didn't want to go in. He actually preferred uh, working on reconstruction projects and trying to win the people's trust that way, that the order to siege the city actually didn't come through the military. Like the invasion of Iraq, it came through the White House directly. And that siege did fail because the military realized pretty quickly that they weren't going to be able to take the city without destroying most of it, which is what happened in November. So what did you see when you were there in Fallujah? When I was in there in April, what I saw was, and I went in during a supposed, a so-called ceasefire, according to Paul Brimmer, the administrator of Iraq at that time of the CPA. And so we figured that if, well, we knew it would be dangerous, but if you're going to go in, you might as well go in during a ceasefire. And it was anything but a ceasefire. There were warplanes bombing the city when we went in and fighting all over the city. And we took supplies into a small clinic inside the city, which is how we got in. And there were one person after another being brought into the clinic, women, children, older people, um, all of them civilians, and they were all claiming the same thing, that wherever they were in the city, they were being shot by snipers, by military snipers. The ambulance had one functional ambulance left, and it even had some bullet holes in it because all their others had been destroyed by the military. So it was a, it was a massacre is really the, the word I would use to describe what I saw in April, and that was really just a bit of a prelude as to what happened in November where um, at, at least 4,000 people were killed in Fallujah. Jamail will be speaking in Hartford's Bushnell Park Sunday, September 20th. For more details, go to our website, thestruggle.org.